This is a kitchen. This is a caddy. This is a caddy in a kitchen. This is a caddy in a kitchen cooking. This is Keddy's kitchen. How's it going, YouTube? I am Keddy, and this is uh, the inaugural episode of Keddy's Kitchen. This is not my kitchen. This is a set that I share with many other people, but it's my kitchen for the day. And as you can tell, I'm a chef because I've got a thing on my shoulder. Um, today on Keddy's Kitchen, we are going to be making a fried Keddy, and the fried Keddy is ooey, it's gooey, it's delicious, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's savory, it, it's, it's everything you want in a sandwich. Uh, we're going to get to that real quick, but before we do that, I have a rule that you never cook while hungry, because you, you kind of like cook in a rush, and you're doing this, and da, da 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 So you always want something in your belly before you get into cooking your meal. So for that, uh, my producer Bonnie has actually, uh, is going to be providing us with a special something, mystery uh, box of uh, goodies for me to eat. I'm so enthused. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do we have here? I don't know. Julian, <laughs> something for you. That is amazing. <laughs> this is the Keddie's Kitchen uh, mystery food box. and This is my first time seeing this, and this is absolutely great. This was me. I, I went as Dustin for, uh, for Halloween. <laughs> this is so great. All right, so today in the mystery box, we got... Uh, We've got sweet and sauce. Oh, fire candy. Uh, that sounds disgusting as well, but I'm gonna. I, I'm excited to hop into it. Uh, kombucha, ginger berry. I love gingers. Um, I mean, I love. I love. <laughs> I love ginger. I, I do like ginger as well, but I love the ginger. The flavor is what I'm. We've got uh, some more cheese and a big. Oh, I thought it was gonna be really heavy. It's not that heavy. It's rye crisp. Bread. We're gonna crack into this. I assume, oh, what is this? Oh, they're like little, uh, wanna catch? <laughs> Try it. Get out of here, you gotta catch it. This is a Frisbee. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even try and catch that. All right, uh, so I assume that I'm gonna combine all of these, right? I'm gonna put the cheese on the cracker with some candy hot sauce on top of it. Where is that from? The hot sauce is from uh, Blueberry Maritime Madness. Product placement done. I gotta cut this open and eat it. Ah, I got a knife. All right, I'm gonna break this in the sink because I can't eat the whole thing. We've got a corner of it, we've got a sliver. All right. Cheese, we're gonna open the cheese. Oh man, I've got my own uh, cooking show and I don't really know how to use knives, so. No one on YouTube, don't, please don't bitch me about my knife usage. There'll be a whole episode where I learn how to properly cut things, but until then, we've got Band-Aids, we've got First Aid. We'll probably use all of it. They had to cut First Aid today. Oh. Don't cut your finger, please. We don't have First Aid today. Great, all right. Uh, I normally just cut the whole thing, and then I put the plastic. Wait, dude, are you cutting through the plastic? Yeah, yeah, you, you do like that, and then you have a little cheese pocket that you hug your cheese with, and now it's in its own cheese wrapper. See? There you go. Life hack. Keddy life hack. First, we're going to try just the cheese. How's that? It's cheesy. What is the cheese? Oh, what's the cheese? That's very good. It's cow's cream. Cow's creamery. World's best. Uh, aged cheddar. Fromage. Fromage cheddar cheese. No, that's French for cheese. <laughs> Fromage. That's French for cheese. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> it's what did you say fromage and cheese then? Because we do French and English in Canada. Yeah, but normally there's like a slash between them. Anyways, all right. No, we just read both. You guys are going to... Uh, you going to try this? Yeah, you guys are going to uh, try some of this cheese. We tried this last first, time. First, we're going, we're going Chris first. Here, I'll try to lower the camera a little bit here. Oh, that's way too high. Oh, oh it's in his air. Oh, 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 close. It All right, wait, we're gonna, we're gonna try one more time. It didn't make it, you got it in my hand. You each get two uh, chances at this. Two chances. Oh, there we go, hey. Man. There you go. 
Is it weird that I have gum in my mouth at the same time? Oh, yeah. Is that weird? How's it that taste? tastes weird. Is it minty gum? It is minty gum. All right. Uh, oh, damn. All right, hold on. All right, tennis wood. Do it for the hemorrhoids. The what now? Hey! Oh, oh, shit! I feel like a performing seal. <laughs> All right, candy, uh, candy hot sauce time. How spicy is this? It says fire on it. If you taste it, you'll find out. Mm. Ah, ah. I mean, ah. <laughs> All right. This probably has a lid that I've got to take off first, eh? Ah, I was right. So I push my thumb in there. There we go. All right. Whoa. That's actually really good. Tastes like spicy candy. All right, um, oh no, this is way too big of a bite. I'm gonna put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh God. All right, so. The cheese is good. The hot sauce is good. This literally tastes like cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Not like people say, oh, it tastes like this. I mean, don't ask me why I've eaten cardboard, but it literally tastes like cardboard. I may have had a bite of cardboard before. What, why? Why does anyone do anything? Why does the sun rise in the morning? I why mean, does the next tissue pop up when you pull the other one? to explain that. <laughs> science, no one knows. Is that what this is for? Is, that why, is this for me to yeah. do this with? All right, yeah. cool, so we're doing it. All right, um, so that tastes like cardboard, but the cheese and the, uh, the, the liquid candy kind of made up for it. That's pretty good. I'm happy for you. And one bite, like lamnus bread, is enough to fill the belly of a grown man. The magic of editing. This will all just be clean. So, now that I have something in my belly and I'm no longer uh, ravenously hungry, we're going to get right into the fried ketty. So, first things first, bread. The whole thing is based on bread. I use wheat bread because that's the way I grew up. You can use white bread if you want. It kind of makes you a chump, but, you know, that's up to you. Um, next is peanut butter. Now, if you know me, uh, and if you know about this sandwich, you'll know that all the, the previous iterations of the sandwich, especially the college ones, it was Jif, because that was what I was working with at the time. But now that I'm a man, I've left the childish things behind, and we've uh, moved on to Adam's. Really, it can be any peanut butter, as long as it has the peanut butter pre-cum. You want? The what? The what? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Wait, you're talking about the oil? Yeah, the peanut butter pre-cum. Oh boy. So, <laughs> Adams has the best peanut butter pre cum. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say it anymore, but when you have a peanut butter that has the oil separating, you store it upside down. And the oil makes its way to the bottom, and then when you use it, it's all already stirred and good. Yeah, I don't discriminate against other jellies, but it should be great for this sandwich. What I do discriminate, though, is brands. We are a Welch's family. Schmuckers is for chumps. I know you see it over there. Schmuckers is for schmucks. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Schmuckers is for schmucks. There you go. Next would be the Frosted Flake for uh, the crunch. Um, what's next? Oh, banana. So normally this would even be too green for me. See, there's still like... Still got green here and da-da-da. I want none of that. I want as, mu as many bruises as possible. I want it... Dark, not like fully dark, because that, that's for banana bread and like cooking and stuff. But you like that? Oh, you just you want a banana and you want it to be bruised. There you go. I need bacon. I'll be right back. Hold on. Bacon. It needs to be raw so I can demonstrate something. You want, uh, when selecting your bacon, you want as much white as possible because uh, that renders down and uh, it's where all the juicy flavor is. So, bacon. So, now, all of these ingredients together would make a really good ketty. But we're doing a fried ketty today. So, you got to fry it. And normally, you would... Uh, you know, treat it like a, like a grilled cheese or something. You'd butter both sides, give it a little flip. But I'm going to blow your mind. We're not going to use butter. We're going to use mayo. And I know that sounds super weird, 
but really it's just. So, so Kitty, I, you mentioned this on the first Filthy Talk, and yeah. the internet lost its mind. But uh, <laughs> to back you up, I have several family and friends that afterwards tried it and attested that you are correct, and they'll never, they're never doing butter again. Yeah, never. I mean, butter has a flavor, and I still like, I'll do other things with it, but when it comes to like just crisping something up, mayo all day. But yeah, so mayo is what we're gonna use to fry this whole thing up. So now that you've seen all the ingredients, uh, maybe pause it, take a picture, do whatever you need to to get those, because I'm gonna move these out of the way so I can work one by one. So you see them all. Now, poof, bacon. That's what you need. I'm gonna eat one of these for bacon tax because that's important. Bacon tax. Oh, it's so crunchy. Oh, God, so good. It's hot. All right, all the other ingredients are here. So let's get cooking. All right, so normally I make this whole thing. Do we have paper towels here? No, you have the towel on your shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is my chef towel. This, this isn't for anything besides to let people know that I'm a chef. First things first is your bread, obviously. Um, I don't know why I always take the bread from the middle because it's just like better bread in my opinion. You never put these back on because that's what chumps do. You spin, you fold, and you place. Boom, there you go. So you've got your bread. First things first is peanut butter. Uh, let's see if my, I throw this upside down every night, see if it worked. Look at that. Maybe I'll give it a little, oh, oh, it's good to go. So the rule with your peanut butter is, um, you guys remember iPhone 3s? Mm -hmm. What the ones with the square edges, the first square edges? You want your peanut butter to be an iPhone 3 thick. You wanna start with a nice glob right in the middle and then you just coax it towards the edge, but you don't go all the way to the edge or else it gets too goopy. Cause you are gonna be frying this at the end and you don't want it to pour over. Okay, next is the uh, jelly. It starts out very solidified. So I just get, I score it a bunch and then I mix it up and then, then it's good to go. All right, so you put some of that again. You there, wanna put is it- Is a pro tip to mix the jelly? Like mix? every two year old does? What? No, you just mix it because it needs to, jelly needs to be mixed. Yeah, Kenny, what's the difference between jam and jelly? I know a really bad joke for that, but I'm not gonna say it. Say it no. Oh, you say it then. <laughs> I can't jelly my f in your mom's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I didn't say it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is your banana. And then it's uh, slice, place. Slice, place. Slice, place. You want three up, three down. Next thing you want to do is bacon. And the bacon, pro tip, you don't want to put a whole strip of bacon down. Cause like, you know when you eat a uh, onion ring, you bite into it and you pull the onion out of the ring and you're like, ah oh, shit. You know, it really like screws over the rest of the bites. Same thing. So what you want to do is you want to cut your bacon into little pieces on top of each one of the uh, banana pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Do your bacon three by three as well? Yeah. Rule of thirds. Oh no. Got a bacon man down. Frother flake time. Um, okay, so first tax. <laughs> God damn, that's so good. You want a big mound of it. Uh, all right, off to the side. That's so messy over there. Don't look over there. Okay, you guys ready for something awesome? Listen to this. Get the boom in on that. Hold on, wait for the boom. Can everyone actually uh, come in a little bit, bit closer? You guys ready? Huh? That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Well, you're not close. What more do you want out of your crunchy sandwich? Oh yeah, look at that, it's already gooing on the sides. All right, so, um, <laughs> the next thing to do is to make this, this is perfectly ready to eat right now, but this is just a ketty. We want a fried ketty. So, we've got this, 
and a frying pan over yonder. <laughs> I actually do need a moment to figure out how this works. I'm gonna turn it on, I assume that's it. Temperature? No. It, it won't work until it pans on it. Oh, Induction really? Induction works as a chemical reaction. Yeah, okay, so it makes sense. I think Shannon's grabbing her. If he'd just come to rehearsal. <laughs> we had some trouble with the induction stove. Now we're on this awesome camping stove provided by our editor, Shannon. So we're gonna work on that. First things first is you want to mayo up your sandwich. So we're gonna open this. Ooh, mayo. All right, so you don't want too much, just enough to coat it and, oh, you need way more than that though. All right. I'm gonna go end to end because you don't want anything left unfried. Now all the way to this side and now back around. Oh, that was a perfect amount, look at that. And with your uh, demayoed knife, just drag it across the top, get any excess because you really don't want too much on there. <sighs> now the tricky part, the flip. So I have a patented flip technique. Uh, pink, <laughs> patented. patented, yeah. We're gonna use the pinkies. I'm gonna grab it here. Oh no. And you don't do like the plate method? Use your pinky and, oh God. Bam. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I had someone to clap me for everything I did. Oh yeah, I can dry this here. Oh man, this is just, this has gotten a little bit, a little sloppy, which is fine, which is fine. It's a sloppy sandwich. Get uh, some more mayo, hit up the top. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. So normally if you're using butter, I would say that you have to put olive oil in your skillet so the butter doesn't burn. That's what word I'm looking for, burn. But we are using something with oil in it, so we're good to go. This button's not working, so I need a lighter. Can I have a lighter, Bonnie? I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, she gives me the lighter anyways. All right. Did that go in the grate? <laughs> no, almost did. I'm um, gonna do that. Ah. So, I'm gonna hold this here. Um, this is a very sloppy sandwich. There's a lot of gooey stuff in here that Normally, like if you were making a grilled cheese or something, you would want low and slow because you want the heat to radiate through the sandwich and melt the cheese. But we don't want that because this stuff will just turn into like a liquid. So you kind of want it a little bit higher. So it just, there you go. Um, all right, so whew, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a sloppy one. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that, that wasn't bad at all actually. All right, so we're gonna place this in Oh yeah, oh, instantly you can hear it. And you're gonna do the, uh, the fry dance, the sizzle. Ooh, yeah, you can hear it. Whew. All right, this is gonna be a tough spin. We're actually gonna, we're gonna use the angle of the, oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people in this office that have talked a lot of shit about this sandwich, so I'm very excited to be able to Shut those people up. O'Brien, you don't approve. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get yelled at. You're actually not supposed to do that. All right. And that is a fried ketty. It's ooey, it's gooey, it's crunchy, it's fried, it's delicious. Cross section might be a bit strange looking because it's- start in the middle? Yeah, because this isn't a bread knife, so I can't. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, yes. It looks like a horror show. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at. The cross section is gonna look like, like a crime scene, but it's delicious. That's all you need to know. Four volunteers, who wants to try this bad boy? Nope. One, yeah. two, three, I'll do it. four. <laughs> um. Yeah, who's first aid for Sarah if Sarah gets sick? Hi. Okay. <laughs> but you're also eating. It's, uh, this one did, this is a sloppy sandwich. This one got a little bit sloppier than normal. It looks like roadkill. But it's still delicious. Just, uh, just take a, take a corner and give it a... Can I have the smallest one? Why do you have to... Okay. 
No, I'm a corner person. That's nice. I'll fight you. They're all corners. He cut it in four squares. Nothing's diagonal. Okay, well, I'm late. <laughs> Look at the deck! I like it. Yeah! It's really good. You're gonna like it. Put it in your mouth. That's what. Really yeah, yeah, no, dude. <laughs> I don't think I can eat a whole one. Oh. Ah! <laughs> like the mayonnaise comes through. Yeah, I know it doesn't. The mayo? You like in it. In a good way. That's actually really good. Yeah. I fucking told all you guys. All right, there you go. Okay. And that is a fried ketty. It's delicious. Babish has already claimed the clean plate club but I'm gonna clean the plate. Babish, you're my hero. Everyone that ate the sandwich, just give it a yay or a nay. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yay. <laughs> Told y'all. So we are now on to the next uh, segment of the show. Believe it or not, what? I don't know how that happened. I had four friends break their jaw in one month. So I was surrounded by literally four Wired, wired shut people. So because of that, everything that I would cook, I would constantly be met with the question, uh, can you drink it? So uh, at the new segment of the show is we're gonna figure out if this is a drinkable uh, food or not. So we're gonna blend this up and we're gonna see how that works. I'm gonna snap my fingers and there's gonna be a new sandwich here ready to get blended. And three, two, one, fried ketty, ready for blending. Anything that you blend up, food-wise, you only want to use three ingredients. Any more, and it becomes very bizarre. That being said, uh, <laughs> there are a lot more than three ingredients in this sandwich, but this sandwich, because it's all together, counts as one ingredient. So you got the milk, the fried ketty, and ice cream. We're making a milkshake out of this bad boy, oh, and boy. it's gonna be delicious. Oh, God. Okay. Ugh. Oh. 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 Fancy. Sound like a little skexy. bit of a uh, little bit of milk in there. All right. I used to be the um, I was the milkshake boy at Johnny Rockets in Syracuse, New York. Um, okay. So we got our ice cream in. We got our milkshake. Probably want a little bit more ice cream, but we're gonna go ahead and add the sandwich to it now. Oh God. A side There's a button. Up. There's a button. This Press button. Then the handle. No. It's backwards. You're backwards. <laughs> the spout's gotta line up with the spout. Oh, sideways. No. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. That actually looks kinda good. No, 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 no. Oh, keep going, blend keep it going. more. Keep going, keep going. Put it on high and leave it for like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hold that sandwich. Do you have a victim yet? This is gonna be delicious. The sandwich was delicious, whole milk is delicious, ice cream is delicious. It's the exact same ideology behind the sandwich. Like all that stuff is delicious by itself, so you put it all together, it's better. Plus ice cream? Plus ice cream, plus whole milk. Teddy, steak and ice cream are both delicious separately, but no. Milk steak. No. Milk steak, baby. Oh, God. Uh, His logic is so flawed. Alain, what do you think so far? You wanna drink that shit? Uh, I can't. And no. <laughs> like, even if I, I could, nah. I'm gonna be having some of this, and there's also gonna be a, a lucky duck somewhere in the studio that's gonna be having it with me. Bonnie, you got a bunch of names and a, and a thing, and a, and a hat or something for me? Twist, there. Hey. Ah. Apparently we don't need this anymore. They're using the ninja. Oh, I got one at home. Don't need what? All right, so let's figure out who the lucky duck is. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh, look at that. It's Lizzie. Oh. Lizzie has been talking an especially amount, especially high amount of shit about this sandwich, so I'm actually very excited. Yeah, but she's not trying the sandwich. <laughs> she's trying, you're right, true, but she's trying the, the blended up version. <laughs> out the top again. All right, does anyone know where Lizzie is? Up, up top, upstairs. We gotta give her, give her a call. Um, Lizzie, uh, where, where are you? No. <laughs> where, uh, for a completely separate reason other than Cuddy's Kitchen, where, where are you currently? Um, 
my office. In your office, Austin. See you soon. Is the holy lizard here? <laughs> What's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> so what we have here is from the region of uh, North Vancouver. It is a delicacy. What you have here is a uh, fried ketty uh, blended with a little bit of ice cream. Inside of a fried ketty, let me explain it to you. Yeah, please you have some there. peanut butter, a little bit of jelly, some banana, some bacon, and some frosted flakes, all with uh, uh, capped in some beautiful, beautiful wheat bread and then covered in mayo and fried. And uh, here is it as a liquid, so we will... Uh, with ice cream. With ice cream and milk. And we're gonna, we're gonna do the hook arm drink should, here. Can I do a shot first? Yeah, of course. I think, <laughs> I, think that's, uh, I think that's needed for both of us, actually. Are we shooting this or what? All right. Oh. Ooh, that's actually delicious. Ooh. Um, we're gonna hook our arms here. All right, cheers, buds. Let's do it all in one go. Yeah, do the whole thing, just as much as you can. It's chunky. <laughs> Is there peanut butter in there? Yeah. No. Is it drinkable? Yeah, it's actually not bad. So it's blendable. <laughs> it's blendable. Hey! Hey! I don't like the chunks, though. Yeah, maybe I should have let it run for a little bit longer. All right, well, I'll, I'll let you finish that because I know how much you want it. We're going to have one last cheers here. All right, buddy. <laughs> that was uh, that was episode one of Ketty's Kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there'll be another episode soon uh, with more delicious uh, food and blended beverage. So see you guys next week. Woo! All right. Stuck in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad you threw up. So thank you. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. To be fair, so. I told you it was gonna be delicious. <laughs> Every week it's gonna be great. I wouldn't call it delicious.